Hey everyone, welcome back to Hero Wars Guide. It's been a long time since I did a video talking about an event that was going on on Hero Wars web, so I wanted to do that real quick here. We have rainy season going right now, and I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about uh, where you might spend in this event and what the breakpoints are for where you get the best returns. There are really only a small handful of tasks where you might put in some extra effort to get some work done here, and they all return the same reward, these raindrops here. Uh, four tasks are the spend emeralds, energy, get soul stones, and open outland chest. Uh, so you can see here, all of those give raindrops, and these things are going to open up into titan, soul stones, gold, titan potions, and a small amount of titan skin stones. So if you're interested in those reward types, then uh, let's talk about how much uh, emerald uh, worth of value you get at each one of these milestones. All right, I'm gonna use Excel to go through this because it just wouldn't be Hero Wars Guide if we didn't spend more time in Microsoft Office than in the game. Let me get rid of some of the stuff you're probably not gonna care about and make this a little bigger. Okay, so uh, many of these tasks, you know, they just are what they are. Uh, you're not going to do anything special to get anywhere. Uh, but spend emeralds here. Um, what I have listed is each one of the milestones along the way. You know, spending 100, 300, 700, etc. Uh, and then what do you get in terms of emerald value in return? Uh, again, all these things are the, the pouring rain, which opens up into the uh, the other types of jars, and you get. Skin stones, Titan skin stones, and soul stones, potions, all that. Uh, but just uh, all of it simplified down to, to emerald values here. Okay, so the primary indicator here uh, of value is, is this column, which is sort of an ROI for uh, what you're you're getting. So uh, you know, if you go down the list here, you're spending 100 emeralds, and you get 217 emeralds worth of those. Uh, raindrops out of it and, and on down the list. So you can see with, with some of the early milestones you get a much better return than the later ones. So uh, you know if you look down to this 2000 level spend of emeralds you're, you're getting a nice uh, ROI of, of 72 for that milestone not quite as good as up above but then that's before it really starts to drop off. Alright then moving on to spending energy you can see here the requirements ranging from 100 to 8,000. Uh, you can do you know a certain amount of these for free just with the energy you get as the day goes on. Uh, and then at a certain point here, you're gonna have to start uh, spending some emeralds on energy to continue collecting the rewards. Uh, again, like the task we looked at above, the ROI is highest for some of the earliest purchases and then it drops off if you max out uh, the entire task. Um, and so uh, in a simple manner, this is giving you the ROI percentage. You're spending, you know, if you spend 300 emeralds and you get 500 uh, emeralds worth of value in the uh, rewards, then that's an ROI of 169. So really nice return there. And then this column is just giving you, a, uh, this column M is giving you a, a quick description of how you can get there. Uh, and, you know, if it's talking about buying at 100, that's assuming that every day of the event you're already uh, maxing out all of the 50s every day, and then it's, it's going to take one purchase at the 100 level to get to this one, uh, you know, on down the line to five purchases to get to 2,500, nine purchases to get to 9,000, and then if you want to hit this 4,500 threshold, you have to buy all the 100s every day, and then six purchases at the 150 uh, level, and just so you understand uh, how this is put together. All right, and then taking a quick look at the Outland task. Same idea here. You can do a certain amount of them for free, but then when you're going to start making your spending decisions here, uh, you know, if you open up just that first set of three chests, then you're getting a, you know, really nice 200% return. If you open the second, you get 281% return. Uh, you know, it's only costing 180 uh, emeralds to open up that next, uh, that second round of, of chests, and you get um, a nice 500 emerald return. 
So you can see here, uh, these milestones up to 35 are over 100%. So uh, really nice there. You can stay at the 90 emerald level and get all that done. And you can uh, take a look for yourself here uh, at all the others if you're curious where they play out. And then uh, I want to show, I guess, uh, if you were able to get a fourth day out of this event, then, uh, you know, that's going to change um, all of these milestones, really. So now you can see we're getting that uh, milestone of 10 for free since I switched it up to four days. Uh, you only have to spend a few emeralds to get, uh, you know, these done. And your ROI percentage... Um, you know, it's free up here, and then the the uh, numbers are a little bit higher across the board. So you can see this is how many you're going to have to open each day if you want to hit uh, e each one of these milestones. And again, this is based on having a fourth day out of the event. All right, and then for Hero Souls, uh, there's not direct emerald spend here, so I don't think this view is going to be uh, necessarily the best. Get rid of this here is just a list of the various events that have a hero soul stone task. Uh, how many you have to open, what what emeralds you get out of it, and then uh, uh, how many emeralds you get for each soul that you you wind up having to obtain. Um, so I have rainy season here listed as opposed to the others, um, and the reason I'm showing it this way is I think, you know, a lot of you probably have some soul stones in inventory, and you're just going to make a decision on uh, which event makes the most sense uh, to, to go ahead and open whatever boxes you have on hand. Uh, I have so many recently that uh, this is, was not much of a concern for me, and uh, some of those, like, splitter boxes that we have from the soul stone events... Uh, you know, the, the rewards there are tied up in, in other things like artifacts, and so I just wanted to get those out of the way. But we have Summerfest coming, um, that's before I started capturing information, so I don't have it on the list, but um, it's going to mirror <clears throat> uh, the Spooky Festival uh, event where you need a thousand, and um, the rewards are the same between those events, so uh, it's going to play out the same here. Uh, so anyway, you can see that uh, rainy season, uh, and this is if you max out the the chain for the for the the, the whole event. Um, it's a little bit a little bit too much detail, I think, to uh, look at every milestone for every event here. But uh, you can see if you were to max out the hero soul stone tax uh, task for each of these events, uh, rainy season is you know kind of in the middle, um, maybe slightly on the lower end, uh, you know where. Um, if you don't have so many souls that you're going to be able to max out all of these different events, uh, you might take a pass on this one and hold out for Legacy of the Great Ones, Guardians of Outland, or Elemental Synergy, uh, where you're not only getting a better emerald value uh, out of all those other events, but it's probably uh, better resource types. Okay, I hope that made sense. I don't want to go into a whole lot more detail here because this event really is just a mirror of Scorching Days and Riotous Growth uh, where I've already done videos. So I just wanted to give this quick, uh, different view into some of the same tasks. All right, thanks for watching.